Hello, my name is Paweł Głodek. Uh, welcome to the uh, second part of the webinar on impact investment in deep tech ICT startups. Uh, seminar is structured in three parts. Uh, the first part uh, is about responsible startups and investors. The second part is about finding impact investors. And the third one is about deep tech ICT uh, startups uh, with uh, particular stress on artificial intelligent startups. So let us begin. Responsible startups and investors. This topic is related uh, with two parts, two sides of the story. From one side uh, are startups uh, and startup teams. Uh, on the second side, there are investors. Both sides are have some strengths some, uh, and some needs. And uh, mutual cooperation uh, help to overcome uh, the needs, the, the, the um, barriers w uh, which they can uh, see. So responsible startups from one side, they came uh, to the market with uh, fresh product ideas, so we have uh, technologies, new lock on technologies, uh, but of, uh, at the same time, they, they need uh, man money for development of the company and uh, the product. Uh, they need also sectoral uh, and uh, business development expertise. Um, on the other side, uh, when we look at investors, then they came, to, uh, came with uh, money and sectoral expertise and management. Uh, about about knowledge about management and business development however they what they need to uh, become su successful investors they need fresh business ideas and uh, business proposals with uh, development potential so uh, mutual cooperation can uh, create a fruitful uh, startups uh, with uh, potential of high growth but if we look at uh, cooperation with uh, investors, so the one of the first uh, questions we might uh, pose is what an investor is looking for. So uh, we, we might start from the uh, parameters uh, of, the, of the project, which uh, is um, which investor is looking for. Um, I mean, mostly financial, financial, uh, we might start with uh, financial parameters. So if we uh, see on a uh, rate uh, of return, so it differ, of course, in case of different uh, investors, it might differ, but uh, in any case, it's more than 20, 25 per annum. Um, but in many cases, or most of cases, and especially in cases of uh, startups, uh, it, it is more than 60, 90, or even 100% per annum. So different investors have different preferences, but more there, uh, if, when, when uh, investors perceive the project as a more risky, then of course it's related to the higher expected return rate. So what uh, else investors are looking for? Uh, they are looking for combination of equity and debt instruments. Uh, equity instruments, uh, they provide uh, them a chance for above average return on investment. But from the other side, debt, debt instruments uh, can create some sort of protection against too, uh, high risk. Uh, what else? Uh, what else is financing? Financing in tranches. Uh, so startups shouldn't expect that uh, can receive uh, uh, all the money, all the investment money uh, in one tranche in at, at once. Uh, it's divided into two or three or four tranches usually. And of course, uh, um, in, uh, investors are looking for a possible control 
over the implementation of the project. Uh, of course, the, 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 uh, when they provide the money, so they uh, have they they would like to also limit the risk related to the investment, and. Uh, um, uh, so they uh, usually uh, need to to control. Not usually, in always they would like to control uh, control the project through some different different rules. Uh, I would comment a little bit far, farther. So, uh, more generally speaking, in optimal investment in case of uh, uh, capital investors is related to. Uh, Mm, they to meet their preferences uh, in, in terms of minimum and maximum amount of uh, their capital involvement. Each each uh, investor have some preferences. Each investor can uh, can be different, have different perception. What uh, what is the minimum and maximum amount of uh, uh, their uh, involvement? So uh, also pro investors uh, differ in terms of um, sector preferences. So also uh, when you are looking for the investor, you are uh, you should uh, ask or, or check uh, what is the sector of preferences in, in terms of you know limit your uh, involvement in in uh, rising uh, in. Attempt to raise invest, uh, investments from the investor who is not uh, focusing on your sector. Okay, so uh, what, what is evaluation criteria of the projects uh, from the venture capital investor perspective? So, what are the main elements uh, what uh, which uh, venture capitalists uh, are looking for? Mm, so, so they are looking commercialization potential of the market offer. So it's uh, market orientation, you, we, we might say. Uh, secondly, growth potential and project development level. Uh, so uh, only uh, those companies who uh, project protect, uh, who expect a high growth. Uh, can expect be, to be successful in terms of uh, negotiation with venture capital investors. So project team quality and, and experience. So it's not only about idea, not only about technology, but uh, project team quality and, and people who are experienced, who have experience in the business, they provide a much more um, much better uh, evaluation uh from the from the venture capital so ip protection uh but also market orientation and if we are talking about uh, uh impact investments impact factors and impact indicators have to be also highlighted in this list uh, of course venture capital investors capital investors but but, uh, but also venture capital investors is a uh, is a is a name uh, kind of broad broad name, uh, and we might uh, uh, we we need to know that uh, the sector is very highly diversified. Um, looking from the above, uh, we might uh, we might divide uh, three main types of uh, investors. Uh, namely venture capital funds, uh, business centers, and uh, corporate uh, venture capital um, investors. So venture capital funds might also um, differ. Uh, they might be private, they might be uh, um, publicly sponsored, they might focus on seed uh, uh, capital or have early growth uh, or early investments uh, like uh, like seed like early growth or further investments like uh, expansion uh, so some not very not very, not many but but a few uh, of uh, venture capital funds might, might be also university sponsored funds with the funds which focus on uh, high technology investment 
Uh, when we look at business centers, uh, they are, of course, uh, individual peer person. They are not institutions. They are individual investors. Uh, but also, they might, might, uh, they might uh, act as a full-time investor or part-time investor. They might uh, seek. Uh, they might uh, look for uh, income, for for example, or uh, they might also look for uh, impact. In, when we look at corporate venture capital, uh, then uh, also there is a, a, a group of investors, but they are uh, institutional investors, uh, highly uh, connected to uh, corporations, but corporations from different backgrounds, uh, like IT, like pharma, like the biotech. Um, those investors might be related to one uh, major player or uh, a, a couple of players uh, which act uh, in a corporation. They might be also a, a separate entity and act as a venture capital investor, uh, venture capital fund. But also, uh, in some cases, they are just internal company ventures. So uh, let's start uh, from the first. Uh, part of this venture capital market, and namely venture capital funds, uh, when we try to describe uh, them uh, in a general way. Um, venture capital funds are just private uh, equity investment vehicles that uh, seek to invest in, in, in uh, firms, small firms usually, uh, that have high risk, high return profiles. Uh, and uh, they based on company size, assets, and stage of product uh, development. So, uh, as as we as we know already, uh, venture capital funds differ uh, other uh, investment funds uh, than uh, in that they fo focus on a very specific type of early stage investment. So, all firms that receive the venture capital investments have. Uh, high growth potential are risky, uh, which is not aim of the uh, investors, but uh, they are simply uh, those investments are connected, simply connected to to uh, to re relatively high risk, uh, and have a long term investment horizon. Uh, so usually, venture capital funds uh, would like to take a more active role in their investments uh, than. You, usual uh, investment funds by providing guidance and and uh, usually holding a, a board seat so they uh, can advise but also they um, control the uh, it's related to some control activity so venture capital has a portfolio uh, returns that resemble a barber approach to investing uh, many of the venture capital funds make uh, small investments uh, on a bar, uh, wide variety of young young companies, so something that the, at, at least part of them uh, will achieve a high growth and reward and uh, and found uh, and the fund the and reward uh, the fund with a comparatively large uh, payout at the end. So. Uh, so uh, most of so, so venture capital funds as investors are aware that uh, mm, not all of them their investments uh, portfolio companies will be successful uh, but uh, they calculate uh, they have different strategies of course but they calculate that at least part of the their portfolio companies will achieve uh, uh, success and financial success so generally speaking, which uh, also create uh, uh, provide a success for the whole fund. So financial uh, investors, namely venture capital funds, uh, which we are um, discussing, um, what 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 startups can expect from them uh, when we looked at them as a pot possible partners in the future investment. So, mm, so uh, as we 
already know, but uh, let me also clearly state of uh, state uh, the, the, some 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 uh, details. So uh, venture capital uh, fund can focus on a different part, different stages of the investment. So from early stage like seed startups, early growth, uh, but also later stages. Um, they focus on uh, might focus on expansion uh, investments, so the later stage. Uh, but also in some cases, uh, in many cases, many venture capital funds uh, which focus on later stages, they also focus on uh, financing, acquisition, and 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 management buyout uh, financing. Uh, in terms of ownership, uh, as we, as, as I highlighted, uh, most of them, uh, most venture capital funds are private venture capital funds, but uh, also might be some state or government sponsored uh, venture capital firms in terms, especially in Europe. There are some, uh, in many cases, there are there are money which are provided uh, by uh, by EU among others, which uh, are provided uh, partly to, to some uh, venture capital investors, mostly uh, to convince them uh, to uh, focus in larger extent uh, on uh, early stage investments. So second, type uh, of the investors I would like to uh, comment on uh, are corporate venture capital uh, investors. Uh, mm, this is capital which is invested by large enterprises in uh, most of uh, cases in the form of venture capital um, funds which are dependent on the one or two or, mm, large players, large uh, corporations. So uh, that's why uh, investments uh, of uh, corporate investors uh, are uh, focused on the projects which uh, introduce new technical solution or new market solution. Uh, so one of the advantages uh, of the uh, corporate uh, venture capital investors is uh, that uh, in many cases, uh, after su su successful investment, the uh, investor or the company which is which uh, provide them money for for the investor is ready to take over the control on the com company and uh, and uh, join the business uh, to the um, larger group or merge business into a larger group. Of course, it's the, not the uh, it's uh, uh, this solution is uh, is attractive only to part of the. Uh, startup teams, but uh, it allows um, uh, to uh, monetize the um, investment. So, so it might uh, it might provide a, a nice opportunity to uh, to get uh, the money back from the uh, uh, from the investments and. Uh, um, uh, in the very uh, good uh, selling time. So uh, venture capital may also uh, may have uh, joint venture futures features. Uh, the investor enterprise uh, to its operation is also able uh, to provide some support for uh, for portfolio uh, of the investor. Uh, in the field of uh, marketing, production management, financial management, because uh, the company have some experience. I mean, investor who is also um, corporation uh, might have also a large uh, experience in those fields, uh, as all as mm, as well as in the field of uh, distribution or mm, uh, promotion of special. Uh, products of uh, products from the from this particular sector. So the third type of uh, investors are business centers. Uh, here we can see on the table which uh, mm, compare 
some basic characteristics of uh, business angels versus venture capital funds. So we might find some differences uh, in terms of investment period because business angels are usually focused on a shorter investments uh, than venture capital funds. So uh, they are looking for uh, what does it mean short term investment in this case it's uh, like two three years or two up to five years um long uh, investment uh so venture capital funds um, also prefer a shorter short time in a shorter time uh, of investment but but they can accept uh uh, quite a long uh, investment, uh, up to 10 years even, especially in some cases like biotech or pharma. Uh, so uh, typical investment value is uh, 100,000 up to 500,000 of euro. Um, of course, uh, the smaller and larger uh, investments are possible from the side of, uh, from the business uh, angels uh, but uh, they are generally smaller than, than the venture capital funds which uh, can uh, accept uh, can uh, provide a finance uh, even uh, up to 10 million uh, uh, of euro and also larger in, in many cases uh, in terms of investment stage uh, business centers focus rather on early stage investments like startup or seed uh, venture capital uh, funds uh, prefer a farther um, uh, stage uh, of investments like expansion, uh, growth, and a startup from, from time to time. A major uh, difference which we might indicate uh, is uh, that business centers are individual person, persons. Uh, they are individuals who invest their own money usually uh, but uh, venture cap uh, so but, but venture capital funds are just institutions and they they invest uh, money provided by um, investors uh, in terms of support which might be provided to uh, to portfolio companies uh, business angels uh, focus on industrial knowledge, personal contacts, which is related to their previous experience, to pre previous uh, business uh, path uh, or per professional path. Uh, so um, they might have some uh, uh, personal contacts in some industries uh, and also uh, can be can have in, in, in the can have uh, experience in in uh, working uh, uh, can get acquire investment from um, from other companies that they are working used to working for. But uh, in terms of venture capital funds, they uh, usually provide support in uh, general management uh, areas, uh, legal issues, financial uh, management. So less focus on on particular sectors, but more general. Uh, okay, that's the comparison. So uh, it explains uh, well uh, why business angels' uh, uh, characteristics is like that. So uh, um, here is a summary of, of uh, the characteristics. So they are private and formal investors. They uh, invest private funds um, less than, than venture capital uh, funds. Uh, or it definitely then then corporate ventures uh, so they focus on early stages of business life uh, what is important and uh, is they often do not intend to publicly disclose their investments activities so uh, it might be uh, sometimes quite difficult to to find them uh, so uh, usually you should uh, to, to get the contact uh, to business angels usually uh, the easiest way is to use uh, contact to business angels networks institutions who provide uh, uh, provide the contacts to, to 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 investors and who uh, and those uh, in institutions associations are uh, responsible for screening of uh, uh, proposals uh, which who are uh, which are provided 
to investors uh, usually to make to make uh, their lives uh, easier so uh, who are business centers uh, they usually uh, are, are people with professional experience related to to business like entrepreneurs uh, from various industries uh, uh, who uh, create their own company and uh, manage them and have them or then or uh, 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 sold them uh, to to uh, other partners um, managers company managers lawyers uh, so they uh, they that's why they have a potential to 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 provide um, portfolio companies with uh, advice on a special uh, sectoral context So uh, there are many, many examples of, uh, of success of uh, business angels uh, investment activities. So uh, here there are examples of case studies of uh, supported businesses. Uh, for example, uh, we, you may find uh, such um, reports or, or cases at uh, um, web pages of uh, East Midlands business angels limited or uh, the british private equity and venture capital association uh, but also in a uh, more european context uh, compendium of european uh, co-investment funds with uh, business centers uh, uh, which is provided by european business angel network So, if you are looking uh, of um, if you're looking for support uh, from financial support, financial investment from business centers, so there are some uh, criteria that should be considered if you are just looking for particular investment with uh, uh, in particular um, characteristics. So, you should consider uh, their uh, type of invest uh, industry expertise. Uh, of course, it's uh, it's generally speaking um, a, a good idea to find investment uh, partners who understand uh, uh, exactly uh, your industry, uh, ideally through uh, uh, let's say personal hands-on experience. Uh, of course, the second uh, the second element is functional expertise. Yeah, so uh, the. the investor with some functional expertise they have mastery in some mm, or all fund, fund foundation foundational skills associated with, with entrepreneurship and uh, and fundraising so it's also a good opportunity to have advice from this side the third element is a network um it's it's good idea to find investors with uh, uh, portfolios of, of other companies that might be able to network with uh, uh, to find the partners or, or possible uh, employees, talents, uh, advisors, uh, uh, news uh, from other potential uh, or even even uh, other potential investors, of course. So it's uh, it's good to uh, to have a. a, 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 a partners which might somehow help or somehow cooperate somehow provide a, a, a new ideas or new resources uh, so fourth element track record uh, of course it can be helpful to to do some um, research into investing track of of the investor so uh, of course investors differ one to each other so they have different strategy to cooperate with uh, portfolio companies. They have to different mm, different approach, uh, different communication strategy, of course. So, um, so it's good to have at least uh, some basic knowledge how um, how uh, they operate. Mm, uh, so it it can be a, a, some sort of uh, initial initial uh, information uh, if this is a, a really uh, investor you are looking for so the first element is uh, um, 
services and advice uh, as a platform uh, to help you grow. Uh, so, so as you know, uh, the, the 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 venture capital investors might provide not only capital but but also uh, uh, um, you know, different uh, services advice. Uh, so, uh, of course, it's it's crucial in terms of early stage investors uh, in investments like like seed or startups uh, and also might have some impact in in later stage uh, investments um one of the one, one element which might be uh, just pointed out as a as a very important issue it's a, a term sheet keep it simple keep it less keep it as uh, uh, no complicated as is possible uh, many different uh, different uh, points can be uh, can be misleading. Uh, so so uh, so the, the the keep it as simple as it possible. And uh, finally, the last uh, element of 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 discussing of uh, different kind of investors is uh, just pointing out that uh, not only uh mm, pri uh, not only not only fully uh, 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 commercial uh, finance uh, finance are uh, accessible to 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 startups uh, in many cases public private uh combination of money or or fully public uh, money are accessible so uh so Please uh, uh, keep it in mind. So, uh, so various forms of public uh, private partnerships are, are some sort of create some sort of alternative for startups in some cases. Um, so those money are uh, uh, can be accessed by by startups in more or less three main uh, forms. Uh, the first of them is uh, technology or our technology and scientific grants. So, uh, so there are some sort of compensation offered by public uh, or private source to advance a specific field or science and or engineering deemed important to the grantor. grantor. So uh, uh, small companies. Uh, uh, if they they are uh, aligned to this goal, uh, to the grantor goal, then can be found uh, money for for the for the development of the technology. Uh, so as you can expect, the, the, those kind of money are mostly uh, accessible for the uh, for the technology based companies are, uh, but in many cases ICT company, of course, uh, deep tech company. Uh, especially artificial intelligence company can uh, can access this uh, money and use them for the um, development of the um, product technology. So the second uh, second part second element is uh, our uh, government uh, performance contracts. Um, so they might. Um, create, they, 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 they might uh, take uh, this public-private partnerships a, a step further by creating a, a buyer-seller performance contracting relationship between a small uh, business and and public player. So of course, it also relates to to public um, policy and 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 goals of uh, some government. Uh, activities. So the third uh, part of the story is our, our economic development support. So not only technologies, not on, on not only small companies are in focus or of uh, uh, different uh, public policies, but also general economic development uh, support is also goal of the public uh, policies. So it may uh, aimed at generating job growth, for example. So, um, so 
in this case, uh, some um, financial tools like uh, discount financing, loan guarantees, infrastructure support, workforce development, or labor subsidies can be accessible. So they also provide some sort of alternative uh, uh, finance sources or just sources which might be considered by the by the uh, small companies. So the question to you, uh, time for question to you uh, at the end of this part of the webinar. Uh, so uh, now you know the basic characteristics of uh, um, of at least three uh, main uh, investors at the venture capital market, um, business centers, uh, uh, venture capital funds, and corporate uh, venture venturing uh, corporate venture uh, uh, investors. Uh, so. Uh, please um, respond or please uh, think uh, uh, with which one of those three investors, uh, which type of those three investors uh, is uh, of the best for, for startups uh, at the very early stage of uh, investment uh, of uh, company development stage. Of course, it's uh, for those who listen carefully, who, who know the the, um, the slides, the webinar. It's quite obvious that uh, when business business centers are the right answer, yeah, and they provide most of uh, um, investments for the uh, early stage development companies, like seed companies, or startups companies. So uh, that's the right answer. So now you know uh, the um, concept of impact investors. You know, you know the different types of investors which might uh, focus on impact investments. Uh, so it's uh, uh, time to prepare your introductory deck or, or, or pitch deck, uh, which uh, should contain uh, around 15 slides. So it's a brief uh, information about the project and and the team. So uh, we suggest you know, some key component to include some key components uh, in this deck. Firstly, what are the key facts like sector of the company, geography, performance, uh, timeline, and a beneficiary? What makes uh, you special, your company, your project special? A team, composition of team talent, uh, the story behind the company. Uh, impact as is a competitive edge. Mm. And the third, uh, why you think that this will work in the future? So, uh, opportunity, opportunity size and momentum, competition, uh, indications that you are able to uh, execute the strategy which is assumed for the, for the company. Um, so, uh, it's Recommended to include uh, uh, a theory of change and the uh, SDGs mm, uh, targeted by the startup uh, so that uh, a future investor, possible investor, can quickly understand what is the intended impact are you, are, uh, you are looking for. Um, similarly, including proposed impact metrics uh, uh, is uh, one of the key components of the pitch decks for impact investors. Uh, so, uh, so uh, investors are not uh, would like to not only know the general uh, information, but uh, but uh, but it would like to measure and manage uh, uh, impact. So, uh, so uh, remember that. Uh, um, if you are talking to to impact investors, you can uh, you 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 should remember that there are two important elements which are equally important. Uh, one is the financial analysis and the financial uh, uh, perspective uh, uh, of the project, and the second is um, impact uh, impact uh, and and uh, how this impact uh, will be measured in the future.
if we are talking about impact investors, so uh, so here we have uh, here, here there is an example of one of uh, impact investors. It's the venture capital fund uh, uh, named uh, Tilia Impact Ventures. Uh, is the first impact driven fund in Czech Republic, uh, investing in social enterprise. They uh, generally invest in companies that are able to demonstrate their impact through clear impact metrics and KPIs, as it was um, described uh, on the previous previous slide. Uh, so uh, Tilia invests uh, in following uh, themes like innovation and governments, quality education, environment and sustainability, health and uh, will uh, well uh, being. Mm, so far, they uh, invest in the five companies, which are listed below, and uh, Tia is uh, also offering uh, non-financial support uh, in the form of uh, advice. So artificial intelligence is a quite broad topic, and uh, if we look uh, on uh, impact investments or impact uh, application um, uh, of uh, artificial intelligence, uh, then we can see that uh, that uh, AI can be effectively combined, uh, can effectively combine technology, innovation, and sustainability. And uh, in, on, on this chart, you can see that uh, it might be applica uh, applicable for a different, uh, different elements, as mentioned before, uh, healthcare, education, but also to uh, security, crisis management, uh, infrastructure or administration or social equity or data authentication. Uh, if we look for, uh, for some examples, uh, uh, some here we have on the left of the slide, uh, some uh, artificial intelligence related innovations, which uh, transforming um, and the financial industry. Um, so uh, uh, especially uh, in the fields where traditional, uh, traditional players have failed. So for example, uh, uh, applications of uh, artificial intelligence uh, are related with uh, uh, raising uh, awareness about socially and uh, environmentally responsible financial services. It might catalyze uh, community ideas by offering uh, uh, new and innovative ways to secure sustainable funding. It coordinates the efforts to, of participants to generate positive encounters and ideas and also uh, supports responsible financial ideas and innovativeness uh, in the initiatives allow, allowing them to flourish. So fintech uh, is one of the uh, interesting area for impact investments from AI uh, perspective. Another one is uh, robotics. Uh, on the left, on the right side of the slide, uh, uh, apparently uh, AI might be applicable uh, in some uh, um, fields of uh, where robots uh, might be also um, implemented and uh, uh, why that might be socially uh, responsible because uh, in, 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 in some cases uh, it might be visible here like uh, it might act as a, a employee training in, in the field of employee training and receptionist it might be uh, applicable in recruitment, especially unbiased recruitment, uh, which is typical for human beings, which might be more uh, complex than AI rules. Medical screening is a field of applications of uh, and com uh, combination from of, of robotics and and eyes, helping helping children with autism. Um, uh, travel concierge or teaching assistant. So all of them uh, are um, uh, fields uh, in in what uh, uh, AI related projects are and companies are uh, working and and they are trying to uh, implement their strategies 
uh, and provide a product in this uh, this field. So one of the examples of uh, venture capital investors, impact investor uh, in the um, in the deep tech uh, deep tech uh, technology. Uh, deep tech te the technologies uh, is a cotton wood uh, technology found. Um, it's um, a, a top fund with uh, have uh, their uh, offices in the United States and Europe, uh, mainly in in Netherlands. Uh, they uh, focus on, uh, more, for example, photonics, optics, and micro and nano electronics, advanced materials, nanotechnology, uh, and of course. Uh, and uh, advanced manufacturers, uh, manufacturing and robotics. Uh, the portfolio is currently built up of uh, 21 uh, and the companies, 25% uh, of them focuses on climate tech. One of uh, the companies which, uh, which uh, acquired uh, investment from the uh, Cottonwood Technology Fund is uh, a company Sencure uh, Be, uh, Bv uh, from Netherlands. From the Netherlands, uh, it's a D Dutch startup founded in 2021 uh, that brings medical device developers and IC, IC designers together on, under one roof. Yes, uh, so. Uh, it got uh, investments uh, two years ago, 1.5 uh, 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 millions of euro. Uh, and and Sencure uh, developed chips that helps to, uh, that helps to measure electro electro physiological that's a complicated word parameters on the human body in uh, in innovative ways ways. Um, so, so the the goal uh, uh, for the company is to have as little uh, influence on the patient uh, daily life as possible. So uh, they intend to use advanced chip technology in a way they can improve the quality and medical wearable de devices, increase the uh, speed of uh, medical device development, and reduce the size of such that device uh, de devices, which provide uh, uh, impact. Which provide uh, uh, which which we, will be uh, related with improvement of patients' uh, quality uh, of life and uh, and all those all those uh, all those uh, products uh, may be used uh, more easily than based on the current uh, technology. So uh, that was a webinar on impact investments in deep tech, uh, especially uh, special, special focus on artificial intelligence. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you for your attention and uh, have a nice day.